Hi, thanks for joining another video today. As we get ready for the new year, I wanted to thank all of you for spending some of your time with Kaya and I. Here is a quick review of what we have done and what we have seen for electric vehicles over the last year. Kaya is not a lap dog. You're heavy. <laughs> This year, Kaya and I started our own YouTube channel, Kaya's EV. I uploaded our first video in March when I took a trip to Anaheim and noted all of the supercharging costs and time spent charging along the way. Then throughout the year, Kaya and I have shared information of many other topics. These included things like where you can charge your EV in public, how you can charge at home, how much it costs to go on a road trip with a Tesla, and showed you my home electricity bills. We looked at how hot and cold environments can affect your electric vehicle, discussed regenerative braking and battery degradation. We did a few car reviews and test drives, including the Tesla Model 3, Model S, Model Y, and a BMW i3. We also had some fun with other EV topics as well. Not only that, but we did many of these videos in two languages, both in English and Spanish. I hope the dual languages helps to push EV adoption by reaching more people. In the summer, I began working on our own website where I have a few resources and blogs posted. Be sure to check them out. I've learned more about EVs along the way and still continue to read and keep an eye out for advancements in electric vehicle technology. Everyone who comments in my videos with feedback and their experiences also keeps everyone and myself informed. I'm so excited to continue making more informative and fun videos next year. Okay, enough about me. Let's take a look at the achievements, fails, and exciting updates from this year. Then we can see what other EV items we can look forward to in the coming year. According to the Office of Energy and Renewable Energy, in August 2020, cumulative US plug-in vehicle sales reached 1.6 million units. These consist of battery electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid vehicles sold since December 2010 to August 2020. I came across this graph from Argonne National Laboratory that shows new PEV sales by model for 2020. You can see here that in April there was a dip, but then around May it began to climb again. You can see the light blue are Tesla Model 3 sales and the light red are Model Ys. Now let's start off with the roller coaster that is Tesla. This year the Tesla Model Y started deliveries, available in long range and performance trims with some price changes along the way. Tesla held its battery day in September, announcing exciting updates for batteries, factories, and their costs, as well as giving us a little more information on the Model S Plaid and revealed plans for a $25,000 car. The Model 3 received a few updates including chrome deleted finish and a refreshed interior console. Model S and X cars received a range bump and some price changes as well. For other EVs, we saw an announcement from Lucid where they unveiled the Lucid Air, whose factory is here in Arizona. Maybe one day I can take a tour of their factory and share it with all of you. The GMC Hummer EV opened its doors for reservations. They are starting at $79,995. Productions of the Polestar 2 began and the Ford Mustang Mach-E opened up its site for orders. The Volkswagen ID.4 was revealed with a starting price of $41,000. In not so great news, Nikola canceled their Badger electric pickup. However, in a recent agreement with General Motors and Nikola, GM will be supplying fuel cells to Nikola and not receiving equity stake. We will have to see what happens with this. The GM deals are ongoing and appear to be changing rapidly. Rivian delayed their pickup truck, however we did get to see two of them in the show a long way up, alongside the new Harley Davidson Livewire. I watched the entire season. It was interesting to see how they traveled all the way up from Argentina to Los Angeles in electric motorcycles and Rivians while charging off basic outlets and juice boxes. Maybe we'll get to see the Rivian R1T next year. Looking into the future. Toyota announced they developed an electric SUV for Europe and we hope that a Toyota EV will also be coming to North America soon. We may see the Tesla Cybertruck enter production next year and with some refinements and adjustments. Also, in the future or until 2022 is a Fisker electric vehicle lineup starting with the Ocean SUV in 2022 and two more additional vehicles by 2025. Audi is planning to launch the Q4 e-tron, a compact crossover for early in 2021. We will also see a few EVs from BMW including the i4 and the iNext. For those with Teslas, talks of full self-driving monthly subscriptions will be available in early 2021, but we don't know what that price will be yet, so stay tuned. 
Those are just some of the things we have seen and will be looking forward to. What are you most excited for this coming year? What kind of EV topics do you want to see in 2021? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for being part of the EV community and our channel. Keep sharing your experiences with me and your community. I enjoy reading your emails I received from many of you. If you haven't sent anything over before, it's info at kaiazv.com. I hope our channel can be helpful, informative, and entertaining all at the same time. Thanks for spending time with me this year. Be sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at KaiZV and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. Check out my website at www.kaiZV.com. That's all for now. Happy charging and happy new year. Maya, what do you want for Christmas? If you've been a little girl, Santa will bring you a gift. Oh, <laughs> you're falling. <laughs> Okay, let's, whoa! Holy cow, I need a brush.